Prior to the release of ChatGPT in November, IDC predicted that the market for conversational AI will grow at a 37% compound annual growth rate from $3.3 billion in 2021 to slightly more than $16 billion in 2026. The top artificial intelligence firms to invest in include chip manufacturers, business software providers, and global technology leaders. Hi, welcome back to SilverScope. Today, we'll look at the seven most promising AI stocks. Generative AI is a technology that has the potential to change many industries and investors should keep an eye to the companies and subsectors that are positioned to benefit from this trend. Subscribe to our channel and get more information on the tech industry and the global economy. Microsoft Microsoft has increased its stake in OpenAI in order to compete with Alphabet, the parent company of Google in the internet search market. Additionally, Microsoft and Google sponsored media events in early February to demonstrate their AI ambitions and investments. Microsoft was an early investor in the company, and OpenAI is built on Microsoft Azure, Microsoft's cloud services. As a result, not only will Microsoft have access to OpenAI's tools to incorporate them into Office products, the Bing search engine, and various other products that they may release, but it will also encourage developers working on other products to build on Azure rather than other cloud services. Microsoft can basically offer a suite of tools powered by OpenAI and provide them as a service to other developers. And that's really where a lot of the value is going to be generated in AI. These models are very complicated and very expensive to build. That's something that OpenAI, through the funding of a partner, Microsoft, is going to be able to do. The real innovation is going to be in the niche use cases. Those are not going to be multi-billion dollar companies in and of themselves. They're going to be small development teams that are building on top of these AI solutions, and they're going to be building another cloud. That cloud for right now looks like it's going to be Microsoft Azure. Google Data is a lifeblood of generative AI, and companies that have access to large amounts of high-quality data should have a significant advantage in this field. Companies such as Google, Amazon, and Microsoft have access to vast amounts of data and have the technical expertise to leverage these data to develop advanced AI models. These companies have already made significant investments in AI and have track records of successfully commercializing AI technologies, making them prime candidates for investment opportunities. Google is the one that's been hit hardest by Microsoft's OpenAI partnership, but that actually presents an opportunity for investors. Google is not going to take this potential disruption lying down own artificial intelligence capabilities. Google does have the technical chops to do this, and they have multiple products that have over a billion users, including YouTube. Google uses AI to better parse complex search prompts, however relevant advertising and web results, and it uses AI tools in digital advertising as well. And there are going to be more AI solutions coming from Google and its parent company Alphabet. AI usage is exploding in facial and voice recognition technology, medical diagnostics, algorithmic trading, and automated customer service bots. Alphabet recently acquired Alter for $100 million, an AI avatar startup that enables brands and creators to express virtual identities. The acquisition is aimed at helping Google ramp up its content offerings and compete with other platforms like TikTok. NVIDIA ChatGPT creator OpenAI, through its partnership with Microsoft, uses NVIDIA A100 GPUs. Since NVIDIA is ramping up its next generation of GPUs, called H100, 
which delivers six times more throughput than the A100. We believe the demand for this technology could grow significantly in generative AI applications. In fact, according to a source, ChatGPT's revenue opportunity for NVIDIA is between $3 billion and $11 billion for the first 12 months of operations. The company beat Wall Street's expectation for its fiscal fourth quarter, and data center chip sales rose 11% to $3.6 billion. Cloud service providers are expected to hike investments in AI technology. Generative AI models require vast amounts of computing power to train and generate new data. GPUs, specialized computer processors capable of processing large amounts of data simultaneously, are essential for this process, and companies that manufacture GPUs would benefit significantly from the growth of generative AI. NVIDIA Advanced Micro Devices TSMC, of the major players in this space. NVIDIA has made significant investments in AI and is leading the GPU market. The company's theoretical performance, as measured in teraflops, has been improving at an average rate of about 50% over each generation. Upcoming GPU launches are expected to make a major leap in performance, and AI accelerators are anticipated to become even faster. TSMC Another pick and shovel play will be investing in Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. This is the semiconductor foundry that makes most of the custom chips for the world, particularly in the high end. Every Apple device has a TSMC chip inside. As more companies are building custom solutions that include AI, they're likely to turn to TSMC. NVIDIA and Apple are currently its partners. There are going to be new partners who are developing chips optimized for AI. We don't know who those players are yet, because they're privately owned and venture-funded at this point. But given the growth that we've already seen in artificial intelligence, it'll be shocking if we don't see an explosion in AI-focused chips. And TSMC is going to be the natural player to be building a lot of those chips. Apple This is another case of the big simply getting bigger. It has a distinct advantage in the mobile market because it designs the entire stack. Apple designs the operating system and designs the chips made by TSMC. And now they can include AI on device. This is really where Apple is going to differentiate itself. If it can do a small AI tasks on device, on an iPhone or a Mac, that's going to be a huge help. Plus, it'll be much faster and much cheaper for users than using the cloud. So Apple may not be the company that you think of as an AI company, but they're incorporating AI into their devices and they are looking to add stable diffusion to their devices as well. It makes Apple a bigger player than we might think in the AI space, and the real differentiation there is that what they're making is not a cloud-based AI model. On-device AI is one of the first that we've seen so far. Cloudflare Cloudflare is a company that does the performance and security solutions for ChatGPT. So, as ChatGPT grows, so will Cloudflare services for them. Cloudflare is a compute provider with a number of different services for the tech industry. It's handling Apple's private relay, and their stock has done really well over the last couple of weeks. AI is something that's going to increase in importance for Cloudflare. This isn't going to be a line item in their earnings release, but it's going to be another use case for their solutions. And having companies like OpenAI and ChatGPT and their partner Microsoft integrating with Cloudflare solutions is only going to help grow the business. 
Cloudflare may not be a name that you hear every day, but it's a service you probably use every day. And as we use more AI, that'll be the case for the Cloudflare services. IBM. IBM Chairman and CEO Arvind Krishna stated in prepared quarterly remarks, "By applying AI and automation, we have helped security analysts reduce the time to respond to threats from hours or days to minutes." IBM has been collaborating with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and the BBC and NASA recently. IBM stock has historically tended to move slower than the overall stock market. If IBM is a steady eddy type of company, this should suit some volatility averse investors. Just because IBM stock isn't a fast mover, doesn't mean the company isn't on the cutting edge of technology. On February 1st. IBM and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center collaborated to research the impact of climate change. The collaboration will use IBM's AI technology to discover new insights in NASA's massive trove of Earth and geospatial science data. The joint work is expected to boost the company's growth and drive sustainability. If you're looking for low-stress exposure to AI, IBM stocks. Could be just the right pick. From chip makers to companies with large amounts of data and technical expertise, there are several opportunities for investors to consider. We should keep in mind that generative AI is still in its early stages, and there will likely be many more companies that will emerge as winners in the years to come. Gaining an edge with AI requires ongoing investments in compute. Networking and data center infrastructure. We see AI becoming table stakes for most software companies," said Evercore analyst Mark Mahaney in a report. This generally favors the bigger companies with deeper pockets and access to more data. So, who do you think is going to be the biggest winner in AI space? Feel free to share what you think. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to see more like this. You'll enjoy this one as well. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.